Monica imitates Toya Johnson's New Orleans accent. Oh, Toya. Oh, you know I could do Toy. <laughs> I could do Toy. I could do Tiny. I could do. I could do. I could do all of them. And see my titty, because um, she always she check on my baby every day. She check on Leia. Leia's going to a new school, so titty a call Leia, and she say, "What you want your titty to bring your baby? What you want when you come out you?" And um, Leia will tell her, "I want some gumbo, titty." Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, I'm going to make you some gumbo. And then Tita going to go to the casino, baby. While you and your mama at your room, I'm going to go to the casino. <laughs> and Leia loves talking to her just to, you know, I think it's it's the energy. It's the energy. It's the energy in New Orleans. It's the energy. It's the energy. It's the energy. It's the people. The people that I do know that have been good to me. Leia is not my twin, but she do act like me. Mello is my twin in the face and he do not act like me and Rodney and Malik them my protectors they really do not play about me they do not play about me for real for real I mean for real you say my impersonations oh yeah <laughs> I impersonate everybody for real if y'all I can do um I can do a lot of people who who you like for me to do Jacob Yes, I got to get my baby her gumbo from her teeth and get, I'm going to take her down now so she can um, have some fun. Her next school, her next school break. Oh, Monica, girl, where's my baby? How was her day at school today? <laughs> That's what she called me every day and say. Melo does look like Montez, but who y'all think Montez look like for real? My daddy, yeah, my daddy, you're right. They all got little things from me. Leia has, um, like, my disposition. Because at 8, she already know what time it is. I asked her the other day about somebody. And she was like, they sus. I'm cool. <laughs> so, oh, this is my child. Um, but I do want to say God bless y'all. And that I love y'all. And I'm going to do everything I can to try and save the life the right way. KK, you say my daddy. I know my daddy got some strong genes. I know when um, I had Mello, I was sitting there and I had him on the bed with me. And one of the nurses came in and said, oh, he has jaundice. When the eyes are this blue, mom, he has jaundice and we're going to have to put him under the light. I said, my baby does not have jaundice. And she was like, no, sweetheart, usually when african-american babies have and she went through this whole thing and i just kept rocking and loving on my baby i had one on my chest and one laying right beside me because whenever i give birth i always make sure my kids are there because there's a reason i do it don't have to go into it right now but i want them to be a part of the introduction of their sibling coming into this world because y'all gotta have each other even after mama is gone so my kids are always there when i have the next one and um and then my father came in and then my brother came in. They came in together and she was like, oh, my apologies, mom. Yeah, thank you. Try to tell you. Um, but that's how it goes. You know it is what it is. <laughs> I love y'all and I am going to go to work now. I'm going to make sure I share a whole lot. And guess what? I did some special mixes of friends. I had some really special people. Chef KP, love you. I got some really special people to do some dope mixes for the holidays of friends so we can have fun and keep this thing going. What'd you say? My son came out with blue eyes too and my father has green. So my father's eyes are blue. My brothers are green. And now both kids, both boys are like hazel green. But they started blue. And um, Romello's were like aqua. But for some reason, the girls don't get it. I didn't get it. Leah didn't get it. So that's just like just the way it goes the lord knew what he was doing be sure to like comment and subscribe i not be me regardless to the eye color but yeah he um all, all the guys have it all the fellas have it and for those that keep asking how my dad's doing he's actually doing really good uh nurse kelly cb's daughters started taking care of him. chino <laughs> started taking care of my dad and um along with his doctors um his caregivers are all really doing a great job. He now has his prosthetics. 
He's learning to walk on his prosthetics, which has been real, real difficult, really hard. And um, my next performance in Atlanta, to answer your question, is October 1st. Y'all get your tickets now because I'm trying to tell you. We're not about to play in my city. But um, my dad is a lot better. He's not to the point where he can just be out and about moving around. That's ulti ultimately, I got black eyes. Black how? You mean as in dark pigment, like the color? Yeah, my eyes are dark brown. They dark brown, yeah. Um, my dad is not where I want him to be, but he's closer than where he was. Um, my dad called me every day and see how I'm doing. Um, he had a stroke, he wasn't talking well. Now he talks fine. He's a, he's a hard worker. I think I get a lot of my I get a lot of my fight from my daddy. No, I'm not done recording in Nashville yet. I get a lot of my fight from him because you go in there, he's not in there. Um, I test a lot before I go to see him. I, I would never want to take him anything as I'm traveling about and abroad. And um, when I go and see him, he's pulling up. He's exercising the hands. He's exercising his, you know, what is left of his limbs. He's missing from the knee down of both legs. So he doesn't just lay there. He pull himself up. And when he starts running out of his elderberry and sea moss and all his other stuff, he gon' call my phone and tell me to three-way Miss Kelly. Period. Because um, he just say it makes him feel, he feels better. He feels different. Um, my mom is doing incredibly well. And my papa, he is so dope. The way he puts up with our shenanigans <laughs> the kids and I is just a different level. Oh, that's my girl right there. Y'all make sure y'all follow the Project Barbie. D A Project Barbie. You understand why I said that when I now that I said it. I just like real people in real places. I'm not being bothered with nothing else. I'm trying to tell you. I'm cutting everything off that does not add to my life. And if I can't add to your life, cut me off too. I'm really serious about it. It's important because it's onward and upward. It is onward and upward from here. And just know that God's got it. Whatever the battle is today, give it to him. Don't pray about it and hang on to it. Give it to him. Give it to him. Leave it there. I'm talking to y'all and myself. Love y'all. I'm about ready, I guess. I'm about to go to work. Thanks for tuning in to 9MAG-TV.